behind me stands one of the most iconic features of the Vancouver skyline, the stunning geodesic dome created for Expo 86. Today, it houses Vancouver's science world. It has been described as an educational jewel, but don't let that scare you. On the fun scale of one to 10, it's a solid 9.627. <laughs> And I'm on the roof of Science World, and this is Amber Ditto. Hello, Amber, how are you? Good, how are you? What's your job, Amber? My job is the executive director for the Canadian Association of Science Centres. Okay, now how many people come through here in the run of a year? Over 500,000. That's a lot of people. Are they all enemies of Canada? <laughs> because that's kind of the message we're getting from the government these days, right? Science is bad. Did you ever think you would see a time when science is bad? <laughs> I, I didn't. <laughs> when I was a kid, we would go on a field trip, and basically it would be like we'd go to the, the brewery or something, or we'd learn how bread was made at the Wonder Bread factory, but you couldn't touch anything. You were constantly being told, don't touch, don't touch. Here, what is the philosophy? Touch everything. Touch everything. <laughs> and then Purell. <laughs> Now I'm standing outside of Science World with science facilitator, Ivan Decker. Hi, Ivan, how are you? Great. Good to see you, sir. And you are a, uh, a science facilitator by day and a stand-up comedian by night, correct? Yes. And now, Ivan, we are going to create an underwater explosion, correct? Yes. We're going to put some dry ice into okay. this uh, pop bottle. Okay. Right here. Right. And uh, then we're going to pour some water in there, which yeah. is going to heat up the dry ice. Yeah. And uh, that's going to make the dry ice expand. It'll make the bottle explode. Yes. The last time I wore these, I put my arm inside a cow. <laughs> also in the interest of science. This dry ice is about minus 80 degrees Celsius. OK. Dry ice and water is good already. OK, here we go. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. In the bottle. And now what? Now back it up. Oh, right. It's like waiting for Dean Del Mastro to speak. You know something horrible is going to happen. He's just standing there. I don't think it worked. Can we go look at it? I wouldn't do that. That was cool! That is the force of an exploding gas. Yes, also like Dean Dumastro. Look. And a very impressive green initiative. All of Science World is actually powered by this child. Come on, faster. Two more hours and it's lunch. This is very cool. This is the inside of the new BlackBerry operating system. OK, this is Sherry. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Good, thank you. You're one of the science instigators? Facilitator. Facilitators. OK, uh, Sherry, what, what do we have here? We have the? Van der Graaff Generator. The Van der Graaff Generator, named after great Canadian comedian Janet Van der Graaff, correct? No? no? This is gonna blow your mind. My hair is gonna stand straight up. That's what's gonna happen. Do you see it? Now, this is a demonstration of TV hair. 10,000 volts, the hair's not moving. Ava, okay, let's step right up, Ava. My assistant, Ava. It's standing straight. <laughs> That's good. Shake it, shake it, work it, work it. That's it, that's it. This is an Australian stick insect. She's a female. Nice and wide there, because she carries a lot of eggs in her body. Oh, you want to hold them? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. oh, what's she doing? Where is it now? Can I put it on your head? I can? Oh, no. High five. You're very brave. Not every boy would do that. My next guest, what is that? This is an African millipede. Oh, that's bait. That's what that is. Oh, yeah. You get the big pipe with this sucker. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> See that sucker? You can touch him if you want. Yeah. There you go. Maybe not put that finger right back in the mouth. In the Middle Ages, Men wore them as mustaches. You didn't know that, did you? Oh, the big caves. A bed of nails. 
What is it? A banana. Is it a real banana? Yeah. Okay, you can sit down. Good job. Oh! Backwards. 